Hello students, welcome to the second lecture that is on the frame for the two wheelers. In the case of the frame for the two wheelers, we have seen the design consideration that needs to be kept in mind whenever we are designing the frame. Right, the frame is a basic structure that is required in the vehicle that gives the support to all the components of the vehicle. Also, there will be many number of loads that will be bad on the frame as well. So, the frame has to bear those load without bending or torsion applying on them. So, the frame is a very important component for the two wheelers as well as the four wheelers. So, in the case of the two wheelers, whenever we are designing the frame, the material as well as all the design and all the components arrangement needs to be kept in mind how the frame is designing so that the proper loading capacity can be maintained in the case of the vehicle. Also in case of the two wheelers, the location of the engine is important and the support to the engine needs to be given by the help of this frame. The engine will be mounted on this frame. So frame should provide a proper spacing as well as proper support to the engine whenever we are locating the engine in the frame. So let's see the different types of frame that are generally used in case of the true wheelers. Mainly there are types of the frame that is a tubular frames. A frame that has a section that is tube section. In the case of the tube section it is a circular section with a hollow space. Right? That is known as the tube section. So the diameter of the tube also the thickness of the tube will be decided based on the loading capacity of the particular vehicle and also based on the power that vehicle needs to be developed. So that parameters will be decided once the vehicle power and vehicle capacity will be decided. In the case of the tubular frame there are many different arrangements that are used in the vehicle. The first one is the backbone frame. The backbone frame was earlier also used in the four wheelers as well. As the name suggests, backbone gives the support to the vehicle. It works as a backbone of the components of the vehicle. Second one is the double beam frame in which the difference between backbone and double beam is only that that in case of the uh, backbone frame there is only one tube used as the main tube but in case of the double beam frame there are two tubes that are used in case of the main tube right in the components that we saw in the earlier video the main tube was the main component of our frame that was used for the two wheelers so in that main frame we are using only one tube in case of the backbone frame as in case of the double frame we are using two tube sections side by side in case of the double beam frame which provides an extra support. Third one is the single cradle frame and the fourth one is the double cradle frame. The cradle frame provides a cradle in the floor section which assists the engine support in the single cradle frame we are using only one steel tube and in the double cradle frame we are using the two steel bars in place of the one steel bar. Next is the trellis frame. Trellis frame provides the arrangement with steel tube and the steel bar. Both the components are used steel tube and steel bars. Bars with the rectangular cross section mainly. And the last one is the step through frame. Step through frame is also a supportive type of frame. Also whenever we decide about the tubular frame, there are also some vehicles that use the rectangular box section frames as well as oval box shape, box shape frames and different frames, different section according to the requirement of the vehicle. But the most common is the tube section which is generally used for our normal vehicles. Rather than that, there are other types of frame which use the combination of the tube frame and the steel bars. The steel bars are used for the supporting of the other different components in the vehicle which are higher end vehicle such as the sports mot motorcycles which require more component compared to the normal motorcycle vehicles. 
So in case of the first type that is engine based frame, in case of the engine based frame what we are using is that we are using a one steel bar which supports our engine and around those engine we will use the tube bars which will work as a beam and that tube bars will give the support to our engine and only this type of frame is designed by keeping in mind the engine of the vehicle. So when we are using the engine of the higher capacity, engine based type frame is better option for the two wheelers. Next is the twin spar frame. In case of the twin spar frame, there are two brackets or we can say two spars of the steel bracings are being used in the parallel direction which is around our frame section right that steel bars supports the engine as well as it is supporting all the frame tube sections which is been connected in the two wheeler and the last one is the monocoque frame or we can also name it as an integral construction of a frame in the case of the monocoque frame any other component will not be manufactured separately the, all the components of the vehicle body will be set, uh, manufactured at, as a one piece. In the four wheeler we also see about the integral construction in that also a whole body of the vehicle with the supporting parts was maintained with a single process or was maintained as a single component. So, that monocoque frame was is generally a little bit costlier to manufacture but it provides a light structure to the two wheelers. So whenever we are using the racing bike, the monocoque frame is a good option to use as a two wheeler racing bikes. Let's see some of the frames and the design of those frames that we are using in the, our vehicle. In that you can see the backbone frame which is generally used for the normal motorcycles. In the case of the backbone frame, as you can see the main tube which is coming from the right side you can see from the headlight side when the main tube is coming that is the purpose is works as a backbone a backbone on which our components are mounted our fuel tank is mounted from behind you can see the seat rail is given on which our seat will be manufactured and in the below part the down tube is given which is connected with our flow tube right so main tube from the down tube and in the below part flow tube it is the most simplest type of frame construction that we can use in the right side second figure you can see that the arrangement of the backbone frame is shown in the motorcycle right in the motorcycle you can see in the below part they have used the suspension system it is a suspension system with the linkage type or you can say the single frame suspension system that we saw in the types of the suspension system is used with the help of a backbone frame. Second is the single cradle frame. In the case of the single cradle frame, you can see that the cradle or you can see the bar that has been connected with our main tube is connected with our down tube. In the mainly you can see in the part of the rear side the cradle is provided with the tube sections that has been used. Now in the case of the double cradle frame you can see that the frame is connected with the two tube sections in between there are number of cross members are attached. There is not only one steel tube that is connected as a main tube but in case of the double cradle frame that you can see that two tube sections are connected with number of cross members and then whole arrangement is manufactured. This type of double cradle frame is generally used in the motorcycle that you are seeing in the right side of the figure. Next is the trellis frame. In case of the trellis frame you will see a general difference from previous frames that we saw. The main difference that you can see in the trellis frame is that for the engine mounting and around those engine mounting proper beam sections or proper tube section has been arranged. You can see that from the head tube there are two main tubes that are being expanded with the tube section. That two main tube and the below 
down tube or we can say the flow tube are connected with number of cross members and if you see the design of those cross members the cross member in the manner that they have arranged is mainly a triangular right the law of triangulation the law of triangulation says that if we are arranging the frames or the beams in the triangular section then the rigidity of the section will be highest so mostly those frames are connected in the triangular manner the cross members are connected in the triangular manner as well so until the now the number of frames that we saw the trellis frame provides a better stability and better force taking ability in the case of the trellis frame in the case of the twin spar frame as you can see one floor has been created on which we can mount the engine and on the above part two tube sections are connected as a main tube and the rear part is welded behind our front part mostly the components will stay same only the design of the different types of the frame changes in the different types that you can see in the twin spar frame and the last one is the monocoque frame the monocoque frame as you can see that is connected as one component the fuel tank is also part of the frame if we are talking a monocoque frame so monocoque frame is nothing but a integral construction that works as a one component the whole vehicle body is manufactured as a one component in many of the racing cars they use high end material such as a carbon fiber so that they can reduce a weight and also they can increase the strength of the material this type of bikes can be manufactured by this monocoque frame method by using a high end materials right so these were the types of the frame that we generally use in the vehicle we will see about the materials and ergonomic designs of this frames that needs to be kept in mind in the next lecture until then thank you so much